All right, man. So what is up, guys? Airball ball here and back with our video. And this is going to be the fifth episode of the No Money Spent Series 1699 overall. So the first thing I did in this episode is I play against the uh, Daily Street Ball Challengers. This is going to be like a uh, like a staple in this series. Like this is definitely going to be like one of the main things I do. Because free VC, you get 750 VC from completing the challenge. And you get like 400 VC just from playing the game. So it's a total of like 11 to 1200 VC. Just for playing one street ball game, it takes like five minutes. So after playing the street ball challenges... I went into the wreck for the first time ever on this build. This is my first ever online game. And I got some highlights here for you guys. So I, just, I got a couple of boards. I mean, it wasn't like the best thing in the world. Uh, I did kind of get dog out a little bit on the glass. I'm not going to lie. Because I need to upgrade my vertical. But I mean, yeah, you guys see I'm getting some boards. He airballed that shot. Uh, I pat, He gets to pass the corner. I pass my teammate. He greens the shot. Uh, so I mean, at the beginning of the game, it was going pretty well. As you guys can see, it's my first bucket in online play. Uh, AI shoots the three, missed the shot, I get another rebound. I did get a few rebounds this game. Like you guys see, box out beast popping up, rebound chaser on gold. Um, pass it to the corner, miss. I get an offensive rebound, pass it out to the corner. I think he misses this shot here, right? Yeah, he misses this shot, and my teammate gets the offensive board and puts it back up and in. So we got some, we got some pretty decent highlights from this game. Not nothing too crazy, just some rebounds, uh, some good defensive possessions, and we also ended up hitting a three. You guys will see later. Uh, but I mean, yeah, pass down to my teammate, pass to the corner, shoots the three, got the pass to assist right there. Uh, and then this is halftime tie game. I mean, bro, this this big was absolutely dogging me out. It looks like freaking Joe Michael Green or something. But yeah, he's gonna miss wide open with sharp take. I get the board. That's my ninth rebound. And my teammate gets the chase down block. I get my tenth board. Um, and then he throws a lob. Doesn't get it. But then he gets the ball back and then uh, hits the layup. Uh, and then this was actually the possession where I hit a three. Pass it to the corner or the wing kind of. I shoot the three and it's green. Five points. That was my first green and online play basically. So I get the board again. I play some good defense here, get another rebound, got 12 of them, uh, and the AI is going to shoot the three, miss it. I give up the offensive board, but I do play some good defense and then get the rebound, and then, yeah, with four seconds to go, he misses the shot. I give another offensive rebound, but I do play some good defense there, but it honestly doesn't matter. We lost by um, 11 points, and honestly, I I will kind of take the blame a little bit. I mean, my man said 24 boards. But I don't think you can really do anything when your teammate, when your backcourt shot 6 for 24 from the field and 1 for 16 from 3 and your big fouled out. Uh, so, I mean, I couldn't really do much because I couldn't grab that many boards. I mean, 14 boards, my man's had 24. Uh, and it was simply just because I had a 49 vertical. I didn't even realize that... Um, and I didn't upgrade my vertical, and that was why I wasn't getting any boards. Uh, so now, I mean, the vertical will be uh, upgraded later in the video, and uh, I'll be able to grab way more rebounds. But only 10,000 my points from that game, and only 415 VC from all my uh, effort in that game. And then we didn't even get that much XP either. So after that horrible red game, I decided to go to the park. And honestly, I didn't think it could get any worse, but in this game, it clearly proved it. Uh, so we're playing a 6-10 to 6-5, a three-point shot hunter. And look, I mean, first play, I'm trying to change my camera angle, and he already shoots a three, and he greens it. And I'm like, all right, yeah, this is going to be bad. The guard misses. I get the board. This is our only shot. And then, yeah, I kind of sold the bag. I throw a turnover. And then, I mean, yeah, that was basically the game. He shoots the three, green. I mean, we're just getting absolutely destroyed. I jump. He shoots the mid-range, just big green. It's like, oh, my gosh. And then he gets a layup, and then he gets a three wide open with takeover. My teammate literally just stopped playing at that point. And then I just leave him wide open because, I mean, I, I tried to get him to miss. He didn't miss. And then I jump at him with sharp take. He greens it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the guard misses with sharp take, but he gets the board. My teammate just gave up at this point, and he got the layup to go. And we lose 21 to nothing on the first game, bro. I was just playing with a random. And, yeah, we lose 21 to nothing. And I only got 80 VC from that game. And, like, basically no XP progress at all, which is kind of crazy. So after that disgrace of a game, I actually decided to play another game. And this game went much better. You guys will see. So we get a stop off rip. Uh, I get the board. And then, I mean, yeah, my teammate gets the ball right here. Uh, and he's, yeah, he's going to end up passing me the ball. Uh, so he's just, like, dribbling and passed me the ball on the wing. I shoot the three. My first green of NBA 2K24 on my new account. And then he pump face passed me the ball in the corner. Again, I shoot the three and it's green. So I'm already two for three from three. Like, I'm already going crazy. Uh, but then my teammate drives to the rim. Should have passed out there because he got blocked. And then he has their ball. I was kind of getting sold during this game. Again, we got another stop. But he shoots the three, shoots it late. And then they get the board. Uh, and then inside, we can't really stop them because my man's like 6'6. Six, six, and we're playing like two tall centers. Uh, again, a 69% coverage is crazy. But we finally get another stop on defense. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to get the ball, and did, we didn't really do anything with it, honestly. It just gets blocked again, because they're two freaking centers. But then we finally get another stop right there, uh, and then my teammate gets the board, and then he's going to run out, shoot the three, 
And he missed it again. I'm telling you, I'm getting sold, bro. I'm like a park random out here. I'm playing with park randoms. But, I mean, yeah, drop step. Misses another layup. Like, we're getting stops. And then I activate my takeover. I shoot the three in the left corner. And it's green again, bro. This jump shot is absolutely chicken. I don't know what was going on with me this game, but I was actually green in my shots. And then I pass it out for three. My teammate now got sharp take. It's big green. It's 14 to 6. Uh, and then my teammate drives to the paint. He gets an easy dunk. So now it's 16 to 6. Uh, but then, yeah, things go kind of bad here. I draw the double team. He shoots the three wide open with sharp take and misses it. And now this is where we start struggling a little bit. So he's going to get the dunk on me, like, literally, like, he just dunked right over me. And he's going to get another dunk. I mean, I can't really do anything because I got to guard the big with sharp takes. So then I try to help because he had missed earlier. But, no, he's not missing with sharp take. And, again, I mean, he uh, gets a weird animation. Misses the layup, but he gets the offensive board, passes back out. He has sharp takes, so he's going to green that every single time. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I kind of thought we lost this game. I'm not going to lie. Like, we, we literally lost. But then we get a lucky steal off the inbound. And then it's our ball. So, yeah, that was kind of lucky, but we didn't do anything with it, really, because he just goes up and misses another layup. Uh, and then he's going to pass it back into the paint, get another easy dunk. It's 18-16. to 16. Uh, And then he gets the ball again. My teammate actually plays good defense here. He had another stop, and that's my third rebound in the game. And then I'm going to pass it back out. Uh, he's going to dribble, run to the uh, right side, run to the paint, pump fake, get them both to jump, pass to the corner. Big shot. It's green again. Four for five from three, shooting 80% from three, 12 points, 18 may grade with two assists and three rebounds. And now we only need one more score to win. So he passes me off the inbound, I just pass it to him. And he goes straight to the rim for the dunk. And that time we win the game. That's my first win in the park on NBA 2K24 on this account. I mean, you guys see, my player is loving it. Like he's throwing like, like look at that. Like he's blowing kisses and stuff. Uh, but I mean, yeah, second park game went pretty well. So after playing a little bit of park, I went to the Chris Brickley's gym and did the 3-3 scrimmage. And that gave me 750 VC, basically just for completing the game. Or winning the game. Yeah, 750 VC right there to add to the total. Then after going to the Brickley's gym, I went to the Art of Shooting gym and did the uh, the drill to get the uh, lethal zone. So I got two lethal zones, both corners. Uh, and then that gave me 750 VC again. I mean, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty solid to be honest. 750 extra VC just for getting uh, these drills done. Uh, so I mean, yes, another 750 VC. So after doing uh, both of those drills, I went uh, to the street ball to do the uh, daily quest challenger again versus uh, Jokic. I mean, th this is the second time I did it in this episode, but I, I got the Luka Doncic one on a different day. So this one is a completely new day. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I play Jokic in the Street Ball Challenger. And, I mean, that's another 750 VC to add to the total. And, of course, we also got some VC just from playing the game. I think it was, like, close to, like, 400. I mean, yeah, there's 5-0 right there. The shutdown um, cutscene takes forever. I don't know why. But, I mean, yeah, 5,802 my points, 440 VC from that game. And, obviously, after that, we got 750 VC for completing the game. So after completing that street ball game, I noticed that I was 300 fans away from getting an endorsement of 1,100 VC. Uh, so I mean, yeah, what I decided to do is I just I'm just gonna go into another uh, into another street ball game and just try to get those 300 pop culture fans so that I can get that 1,100 VC. And that's exactly what I did. I played against Disco, uh, just literally just a quick game, 18 to five, uh, and yeah, we won that pretty easily. And I got I think like close to 400 VC. I don't know honestly. This like I said, the shutdown thing take, uh, takes forever. But yeah, I mean, we still got a decent amount of badge progress and like my points, stuff like that, 6,800 and 437 VC. And then uh, after that, we were able to get the endorsement. And here's the endorsement just to show you guys I actually got it. 1,100 VC is done. Just from getting 800,000 pop culture fans, that's another 1,100 VC to add to the collection. After doing that, this isn't really that irrelevant, but there's a quest uh, that says that you could, like, if you check out the Gatorade gym, uh, not the Gatorade gym, like the um, arena gym in your arena, that you'll be able to get um, some Gatorade boost. I'll show you guys right here. Uh, you get, you basically get some Gatorade boost just for uh, checking out the arena. I think it's in the um, main quest, actually. It's not in the, uh, it's not in the side quest. I just kept looking for the side quest. It's not in the side quest. It's in the main quest. But you do get um, skill boost just for uh, checking it out right there. So, yeah, I went into the uh, gym, and, and I mean, literally, just press got it, and then, boom, you get Gatorade boost. It's only for one game, but honestly, it's pretty it's pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just for just checking it out, you get uh, some free Gatorade boost. And what I actually ended up doing, I stayed in there and actually did some of my Gatorade workouts because I'm trying to get my body shape, you know, better. Because this player is skinny as heck right now, I'm not going to lie. But we got 127 meters, and that we absolutely killed that uh, treadmill challenge. But you do kind of got to focus on that one, I'm not going to lie. It does take a little bit of focus. Uh, to like hit the left and right triggers, but uh, yeah, it's four stars right there, and that's like what 315 my points. Yeah, so honestly, that's not that bad. And we're gonna continue to do some of the workouts, you guys will see. The next workout was the squats, and honestly, it was pretty easy. Like, the squats are really, really easy, probably the easiest thing you can do. 
in this entire uh, like workout thing. So I easily got the four stars, twelve reps. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was it was, just, it was just so easy. That's I mean another four stars added to the workout. And if you do complete the workout, you do get some like extra Gatorade boost. Like you do get like a turbo boost and stuff. So I definitely focused on getting the workout done, and it also gave me stars toward my next uh, body type level as S and C. Uh, so another three hundred fifteen mod points, and we also got a little upgrade to the back down Punisher badge. After doing a couple of workouts, I went to go talk to Hendrix Cobb, and he gave me a, a, another like daily uh, NBA challenge, and it was just a lead team in the assists, lead team in rebounds, lead team in blocks, a free 750 VC. Now after doing that, I went to the actual Gatorade facility uh, to do the pull-ups, because the pull-ups are for the vertical, and they only have like the vertical box jump in the uh, in the actual like arena. Uh, so, I mean, I just went to the Gatorade, and I got Box Out Beast upgraded as well, and now we only need one more workout uh, to complete the workout. So the final workout, I just did some sprints. I only got three stars on it, but honestly, I'm just fine with that. I don't need all 20 stars. We got 19 out of 20 stars, and we got the uh, completed workout. So we did get the extra uh, turbo meter, uh, so, and we also did get some badges upgrades. So, I mean, yeah, for a Gatorade workout, pretty good. Then after finishing my Gatorade workouts for the week, I headed into a My Career game. Uh, so I can try to get like the uh, the Hendricks Cobb quest done. 62 points, 23 boards, 69% from three. We got the 93 overall as well. We also got some badges like brick wall, open looks, upgraded. And the VC, we got 1,277 VC from that game. So the next thing I noticed is that there was a there was a uh, street ball challenge for 50 good screens. All right, so 50 good screens, you get 3,000 VC. But I had talked to Jake from, Jake from State Farm, and he actually had the same exact quest for 3,000 VC. It was just 50 good screens. So uh, what I ended up doing was going to the street ball courts and uh, setting 50 good screens. And doing that, actually finished both those quests simultaneously. And I ended up getting 6,000 VC. You guys will see right here. So after the first game, I got 440 VC. Uh, but it was mainly just for honestly just setting screens, but I mean yeah 21 out of 50 good screens You guys just saw right there 21 out of 50 uh, So only needed 29 more to go after this so another game done I didn't get as many good screens in this game I thought I got way more than um, what I had but still I mean I got VC from the game That's the good part about playing this like while you're trying to complete quests You can still get VC and badge progress from playing the game 450 VC is kind of crazy 18,000 fans as well, but we only got to we only got nine good screens after that game and we're at 30 out of 50 now so then I played another game, obviously trying to get the 50 good screens. We got 448 VC from that game. We got an upgrade in brick wall, obviously, because, I mean, we're setting screens the whole time. And then after that, we're at 49 out of 50. I only needed one more good screen, but then I, but now I have to play another game so I can complete the quest. But honestly, it's just fine, bro. It's just more VC. And that's exactly what I did. I went into another street ball game by 8,260 my points. 439 VC cat set a couple of good screens as well in that game just to get to the 50 good screens I only needed one so uh, it doesn't like show like the uh, the VC there for some reason like it doesn't show like quest completed But I did end up getting the 6,000 VC from both of those quests for the uh, 50 good screens Which I mean 6,000 VC for, for one kind of quest is crazy And here's the proof that I actually got the uh, two quests done 50 and 50 out of 50 3,000 VC for both of those quests so the next thing I did is I found the uh, NBA Weekly Stat Challenge and it's for uh, layups and dunks. So I need 47 more layups and dunks to get another 3,000 VC. And man, this did not prepare me for what I was about to go through in my career, bro. Absolutely insane. You guys will see what I what I end up going through. It is insane. And yeah, 63 to 61, we won. We went into overtime in that game. It was on pro difficulty. I played against Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo is the best defensive player in the league, according to 2K. Uh, because I was not hitting any layups. I went 17 for 39 from the field. I only got, like, I think 16 total layups that game. But I did drop 36 points and get 21 boards, one block, one assist, and one steal, eight offensive rebounds as well. Uh, but, I mean, I could not hit a layup to save my life. Like, pro difficulty is way too hard. Uh, and I got my brick wall almost up to silver right there. Um, and I got my anchor badge up as well. The VC, obviously, is still going up. 1,081 VC from that game. 17,000 pop culture fans and some more fans from the NBA. Uh, but I mean, yeah, next game I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it on rookie because it's way too hard on pro. And I did exactly that. I went into another game. I put it on rookie, played against the Hornets. We only won by eight points. Their, their defense was still pretty good. Uh, but I mean, I shot 60% from the field. I think I got like another like 15 or I think I got, no, 18 layups actually. 18 layups, 18, uh, just 18 added to it. So that got me to 37 out of 50 layups slash dunks. Only got 8,000 my points from that game just because I simply wasn't shooting threes or wasn't like doing that much on the court. And obviously since I'm rookie, you don't get as much VC, but I got I still got 902 from that game, which is still pretty solid. So after that, I only needed to play one more game. I won 92 to 65 versus the Heat. I got my revenge on them. I mean, we still won, but 
uh, like that last game, but it, was, it went to overtime. So, I mean, that's why I kind of call it revenge. But it was on rookie difficulty, so it was really, really easy. So, after I got my layups, I just shot threes, and that's why uh, I got, like, the um, lead all the way up to 27. But this game, we went uh, crazy. What, 51 points, 11 boards, 83% from three. Um, so, I mean, yeah, and we also got some my points here with 14,520. Uh, and it's going up really, really slowly, I'm going to be honest. But, I mean, yeah, 910 VC. Just because it's not rookie, you're not going to get as much VC as if you're a pro or Hall of Fame. So, the next thing I saw is I only need to play one more uh, NBA game to have with immunity equipped to a C-tier badge. Uh, and I got another 750 VC for completing that quest. And I did get my 3,000 VC for that other quest. Uh, I just don't have, like, the proof for it. But I did get it. Uh, comeback kid on bronze, that's what we have on immunity on. So, we just got to play one more micro game with that badge on and we get another 750 VC. So again, I just played this game on Rookie, uh, and I actually got up by 25. This wasn't a key game, so I just uh, sent out of the game. We win the game by 11, uh, and I mean, yeah, all I needed to do was just play it. Like, I didn't need to, like, try hard or do anything like that, and this wasn't a key game, so I could just sim out of it. All I needed to do was just complete the game, and I got the uh, free 750 VC, but obviously I still wanted to get VC from the game, so I didn't, like, foul out or do any stuff like that. 10,000 uh, my points from that, and we also got like open looks and guard up going up. 766 VC from that as well, and also 750 VC from the quest. But to actually claim the VC from the quest, I had to go all the way to the yard to talk to Kay Cunningham uh, to actually like claim my VC. I don't know why it does that. You have to actually talk to him to uh, get the VC. So I had to go all the way from the arena to the yard, but we ended up getting the 750 VC and immunity B tier. So, I mean, another 750 VC is kind of crazy. So at this point in time, it had just turned 12 a.m., so the uh, Daily Quest Challenger reset, and today it was uh, Joel Embiid, so I just decided to play him again, uh, and then got another 750 VC from this game. And here it is, I finally beat him. This had to be the worst game I've ever played. I shot 3 for 16 from 3, and almost lost the game. It was honestly, it was insane, bro. I was so tired of this game, like, it was like 12 in the morning, uh, and I'd been playing this game for like two and a half hours straight, just trying to get a uh, VC. But we ended up getting the VC from Daily Quest Challenger. And after all that grinding, completing all those quests, playing all that mod crew, we got 24,890 VC to spend on this build. And I'm, I'm going to upgrade the vertical. So I'm going to upgrade the block, and I'm going to upgrade the acceleration to 57, which is the max. And then I'm going to get the vertical up to a 75. The vertical is going to be huge to be able to get more boards, where I need to get more rebounds on this build. And the reason why I wasn't getting rebounds in that red game is because I didn't have a vertical. I had a 49 vertical. And that was the reason why I couldn't get any rebounds. I mean, I did get 14, but I still got uh, out-rebounded by 10. We also got uh, four new badges. 70, I mean, 75 vertical, that's going to be nice. We do get that uh, silver chase on artist. Uh, we still get the bronze anchor. I mean, look, silver chase on artist, gold pogo, bronze spot finder, and bronze aerial wizard. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, this is going to be this is what we're going to do. 24,687 VC down this drain. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's just that's pretty crazy. We're up to 74 overall now. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys liked it, make sure to comment and subscribe. We are officially at 74 overall in this build now. And honestly, the progress has been going pretty well, bro. We played a couple red, uh, we played a couple park games, played a red game. Mostly played my career in this episode still. Um, but next few episodes, we're definitely going to be playing some more park and rec. Uh, try to get the uh, quest to join Elite. So we can get some rep and get the daily spin. Get some free rewards from that as well. Uh, but I mean, yeah, 74 overall. I've been doing pretty well in this series so far. But that's going to be it for the video. If you guys liked it, make sure to comment and subscribe. I do post every single day on this channel, whether it's build videos, VC glitches, uh, no money spent series. I'm going to post that like two or three times a week now. Um, but I mean, yeah, this is Airball. Peace.